As science continues to advance in the world of healthcare, people are starting to live longer at a higher quality of life. Although this is an amazing feat for science and society, we're going to take a step back from the world of technology and pharmaceuticals to take a deeper dive into what changes the average person can implement today to live a longer and healthier life. All links used for research in this video are available in the description below, be sure to check them out. Now, let's jump into our 5 tips to live a long and healthy life. First, we're going to take a look at hydration. An estimated 75% of Americans suffer from chronic dehydration, so I think it might be time for you to reevaluate your personal levels of water consumption. According to a research paper from Harvard University, experts recommend that everyone should be drinking between 11 and 16 cups of water a day. Drinking enough water each day is vital for an abundance of reasons. It helps keep your joints lubricated, delivers essential nutrients to cells all over your body, keeps organs operating efficiently, prevents infections, and helps regulate body temperature. That's why a cold glass of water on a hot day feels like heaven. You could also see additional benefits such as improved sleep quality, cognition, and mood. Next, we're going to take a look at nutrition and supplements. Well, we all know to eat our greens and that McDonald's isn't the best food for us. But there's so much more to optimal nutrition than just eating right. The vast majority of us assume that the same healthy food choices are applicable for everybody. And for the most part, it is true, but everyone should take a customized approach. A simple blood test can tell you about your current baselines for nutrients within your body and where changes can be made. The average American diet finds a number of essential nutrients to be lacking. These areas include calcium, potassium, magnesium, and vitamins A, C, and D. Let's take vitamin D as an example. It is arguably one of the most important nutrients necessary for our health. According to a 2011 study, 1 billion people worldwide and 41.6% of Americans are vitamin D deficient. If you are lacking the vitamin, you could very well be lacking the benefits as well. Vitamin D helps your body fight disease, resulting in a reduced risk of multiple sclerosis, heart disease, and the likelihood of developing the flu. It has also been found to have an impact on mood regulation and potentially improving the symptoms of depression. This is just an example from one nutrient in the body. There are so many more that can affect the way your body operates. You can add these nutrients into your diet by eating the right foods with a high concentration of the nutrient, or look to take supplements that you can find in the drugstore. Before deciding if you want to take any supplements or making drastic changes, please consult a doctor as I am not one. Just like the previous two points on this list, a large percentage of adults also lack sleep. According to the CDC, 1 in 3 adults don't sleep enough. Their recommendation is that everyone should be getting between 7 to 9 hours of sleep a night. Having a consistent lack of sleep could lead to potentially the most drastic changes in health versus any other tip in this video. A lack of sleep contributes to a wide array of health complications and includes obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and mental distress. We've all had a bad night of sleep before, and I'm sure you remember how miserable and difficult it was to operate throughout the day versus one where you get a good night's sleep. The culminating effect of these long nights and lost hours is referred to as sleep death, a term that neuroscientist Matthew Walker often refers to. When sleep debt is incurred, it is extremely difficult to make back. For every hour of sleep lost, it can take up to 4 days to fully recover from its effects. When you have night after night of bad sleep, your sleep debt works up a tab where it continues to accumulate and gets away from you. Dr. Walker believes that this conundrum can shave years off of your life. The best way to prepare for a good night's sleep is to put away screens 2 hours before bed and develop a routine that helps you relax. Unwinding and disconnecting from your daily activities is important for getting high quality sleep. Feel free to experiment and find out what works best for you before bed. Tip number 4 is to get exercise and stay active. We broke this segment down into two sections and first we're going to talk about cardiovascular exercise. A lot of people have a misconception that cardio is limited to activities similar to running and cycling. When in fact, almost any kind of movement can be classified as cardio. That means activities such as walking, playing sports, dancing, and even jumping up and down on a trampoline count. What these activities all have in common is that they trigger your body to take in more oxygen to maintain energy levels, which in turn increases your heart rate among several other reactions within the body. Getting your heart rate up is essential for strengthening your heart and overall health. 
According to the CDC, one in four deaths is caused by heart disease, which is why maintaining the health of your heart should be a priority for everybody. On top of that, it can improve your memory, protect your brain against the decline that comes with aging, and it also triggers the release of endorphins within your body. Endorphins are a natural hormone produced within your nervous system. They are often referred to as the happy hormone because it is known to make people happier. It naturally lifts your mood and is the hormone behind the phenomena of the runner's high. The next segment we're going to look at in exercise is resistance training. When it comes to resistance training, it turns out that there's more than meets the eye. That is not just for building strength and looking fit or muscular. A study done by Wayne L. Westcott states that it may help prevent and manage certain diseases such as type 2 diabetes by reducing visceral fat and improving insulin sensitivity. It also offers many of the same benefits that cardio offers as well. His research also proposes that it can increase bone density and help reduce pain associated with back problems, arthritis, and fibromyalgia. On top of all that, it can also reverse other skeletal muscular problems associated with aging. The US Department of Health and Human Services state that you should do at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity a week to stay healthy. The last tip on our list is the importance of personal relationships. A review of 148 studies regarding social interactions found that people with strong and developed social circles are 50% less likely to die prematurely. And interestingly enough, it has been found that those who have committed to a life partner on average live 3 years longer than those who don't. When you have people in your life that you can discuss problems with, you don't have to internalize the stress. The science states that even just thinking about the people that you care about after going through a stressful event or task can lead to quicker recovery from the symptoms of stress as well. In turn, this keeps stress levels lower over time and reduces its long-term impact on your health. On the flip side, loneliness is often a significant predictor of poor health. For a long time, it has been commonly associated with depression and is now even being reported to have an impact on pain tolerance and immune system dysregulation. What a lot of people overlook is the preparation and changes influenced by being social. Being around people can promote several changes to your health, such as personal hygiene. Unintentional peer pressure is another influence when it comes to other health habits such as exercise, dietary choices, and certain activities that can have both a positive or a negative impact on your health. There are so many different factors that come into play when it comes to determining what a healthy life looks like for you. The items on this list and the research that the scientists did on these topics are just a few of the most popular health choices of today. Well, that is all for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to stay up to date with our content. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.